In 2009, when she was just 16, Dr. Mareng Balosha's world shattered. Pakistani security forces abducted her father, a local political leader. For two years, Mareng lived in agonizing uncertainty. Her family's desperate search found no answers. Then, in 2011, the truth came out. Her father's body was found with signs of torture. It's a grim reality for many Balosh families. Now she is raising her voice against decades of oppression. Her influence is growing, but so is the risk to her life. Baluchistan, Pakistan's largest province, is caught in a vice. On one side, the Pakistani military tightens its grip on power, viewing any dissent as a threat to national security. On the other are China's economic ambitions. At the center of this struggle is Dr. Morang, fighting for her people's rights against seemingly insurmountable odds. The Baloch have endured decades of oppression and exploitation. Baluchistan is Pakistan's poorest province, despite vast reserves of gold, copper, and natural gas. Many locals lack basic necessities like electricity and clean water. Over 70% live below the poverty line, with education and healthcare services severely lacking. When the British partitioned British India in 1947, Baluchistan declared independence, but Pakistan forcibly annexed the state. Since then, the area has seen five major insurgencies. But Dr. Marang advocates for nonviolent resistance. She organizes peaceful protests and uses social media to raise awareness to the Baloch cause. The Pakistani military's heavy-handed tactics have left deep scars on the Baloch. In 2006, the army killed revered Baloch leader Nawab Akbar Bukti, sparking widespread unrest. Thousands of Baloch, political activists, students, journalists, have been subjected to forced disappearances. In 2019, the discovery of mass graves containing over 100 bodies in Kustar district sent shockwaves through the population. Despite the many challenges, Marang excelled academically. She became one of the few women in her region to obtain a medical degree. But the ongoing suffering in Baluchistan weighed heavily on her conscience and drove her to activism. When her brother was abducted for three months in 2017, it only steeled her resolve. Marang joined a student group advocating for Baloch rights. Her determination and eloquence quickly made her a prominent voice. In 2018, she organized a month-long sit-in protest in Quetta, demanding justice for victims of forced disappearances. As her profile grew, Morang became a key figure in the Balochiak Jetty Committee, which campaigns against forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. Her activism extends beyond Baloch rights. She advocates for democratic reforms and individual liberties throughout Pakistan. She sees these as crucial to addressing the root causes of oppression. In 2023, Dr. Morang led the Balok Long March from Quetta to Islamabad, a grueling journey of over 1,500 kilometers. What began as a response to the extrajudicial killing of a Balok youth evolved into a broader call to end human rights abuses in the region. During peaceful protests in Islamabad, she was briefly detained but continued to speak out despite the threat of reprisals. As Dr. Morang's movement gained momentum, a new challenge emerged, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, or CPEC, part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. While China promises billions in investment and development, Dr. Marang sees it as a tool for further marginalizing the Baloch people and exploiting their resources. The construction of the Gwadar Deep Seaport, a cornerstone of CPEC, has led to the displacement of local fishing communities without adequate compensation. Gwadar's strategic location at the mouth of the Persian Gulf makes it invaluable to both Pakistan and China, but the economic potential comes at a high cost to local Baloch communities. The Pakistani government's solution for Baluchistan security continues to be military force over dialogue. They created a 15,000 member force specifically designed to protect Chinese interests in the region. There are even plans to build a 24 kilometer fence around parts of Gwadar effectively sealing off CPEC investment from the local population. As Dr. Maring's criticism of CPEC gained international attention, the authorities' tolerance for her grew thin. In June of this year, they struck back, filing 25 charges against her, including unlawful assembly, rioting, and sedition. Despite the escalating risk, Maring's message continues to reach a wider audience. Her social media presence has exploded with over 260,000 Twitter followers but her success has brought intense scrutiny. When she recently traveled to Norway for a human rights conference, Pakistani security agents followed her. She has clearly become a threat to those in power. 
that I will not give up my fight for human rights, nor will I be silenced by fear. I will continue to fight for a better life for my people. The more they will suppress me, the more I will resist. And I will continue my struggle until the last missing person is released. Now back in Balochistan, Moraine continues to organize peaceful protests. Fresh charges were brought against her by Pakistani authorities just days ago for organizing another sit-in. She is currently awaiting trial. Consider how you can support human rights in Baluchistan. Share this story. Support organizations like the Baluchistan Human Rights Group who are working for human rights in the region. In the face of authoritarianism, every voice matters. And Dr. Morang Belosha's voice may yet bring change to a long-suffering land.